A staggering spike over the past week. At least 50 people have been shot in the city. 15 people have died. Good to see you with us at 5. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Dick Carter. It's a number that's almost hard to comprehend. And that number doesn't include other violence like stabbings. The latest shooting happening in an area that's uncommon for violence. And now tonight we are hearing from local leaders. WJC is live. Annie Rose Ramos has more on their message. Annie Rose. Vic and Nicole, Sunday's shooting happened here at Federal Hill Park. Now, people who live around the park tell us that they heard the shots and saw a stream of people running and screaming down these stairs. Now they're looking to city leaders for answers. It was around 11 o'clock. I heard four gunshots. Gunshots ringing out in Federal Hill Park Sunday night with people running in every direction. I saw a storm of people running down the staircase. I heard screaming. Screams you can hear on this resident's ring video. Police say a 39-year-old man was shot and died from gunshot wounds. It looked like a very serious um, incident. It seemed like the EMTs were doing chest compressions. Now a community is looking for answers. For us to hear gunshots, it shatters and it puts fear into everything of who we are in this community. This has been an issue all summer long. Drinking, yelling, screaming, fireworks, dirt bikes, etc. at all hours of the night. Councilman Costello speaking with police today about the park and ensuring additional resources will be deployed. Over the past week, at least 50 people were shot and 15 are dead. Among them, two women were shot and killed in northeast Baltimore. Police arrested 24-year-old Dondre Woods Bethel at the scene. Baltimore City Police Union tweeting Monday saying there is no crime plan for the daily violence and the police department is 500 officers short. We have to actually have a strategy targeting the most violent individuals who are committing the overwhelming majority of these crimes. And WJZ has reached out to city police who are not yet commenting on camera about this week's violence. But coming up at 6, we bring you a story of heroism from Sunday's shooting. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.